Hi everyone and thank you for watching Win Life TV. Welcome to the series Life in Bloom with Michelle Mathy. I'm Michelle Mathy. <music> Today I have such a treat for you. I have Maricela Messner, who is a certified John C. Maxwell coach, and she is my coach. And we're going to get to pick her brain just a little, hear her story, and get to know this amazing lady who has such amazing things happening this in the next few months. Absolutely. Since I've met her last month, my life has just exploded, and you guys, you have to get a coach if you don't have one. Okay, so now it's your turn. So tell me. Tell me, how did you get into to coaching? What made you inspired to go become a certified John Maxwell coach? So I've always believed in an order for me to be a better leader, I needed somebody to coach me to get there. And yeah. in my lifetime, I've always had really exciting roles, different levels, and I saw the value of coaching. I could remember, you know, when I got promoted to my first VP role and just going, wait a minute, I'm not set up to do this. And I recognized that I needed to be coached so that I could be the best leader for my team. And so for me, it's always been one of these things where I recognize that in order for me to be good at what I was doing, I needed to go to the experts and I needed to have them coach me to help me be the best leader that I could. And that is so important, that self-awareness, that if you want to grow and have others grow with you, because as a leader, you want to help them grow, right? You have to, you have to take the next steps to to educate yourself, to empower yourself and empower them. Absolutely. So last year I was on the internet checking out some stuff and I saw an ad for John C. Maxwell. And for you know those people that may not know John, he is an amazing leader. He has written over 40 number one you know, bestsellers when it comes to leadership development. He has just travels the entire world. I am part of one of 10,000 coaches that he's training internationally to do his work. And what's beautiful about his work is he's creating a legacy. So when he passes on, there's people that are gonna continue the legacy of John Maxwell and to teach people how to be great leaders. Because we know leadership starts with our kids, starts yes. with our families. And so there's always an opportunity for us to get better. And for me, just to partner with his team has been amazing. And I'm just excited. I love that. John, just at first name basis. <laughs> well, and that's the beauty of what he does. Like, like, and I've met him several times. And when he sees you, you are his friend. He will talk to you like he is your that's friend. Beautiful. He will embrace you. And that's what he wants to be. He's like, I'm not a celebrity. He goes, I love what I do, but it's because of people like you. So he has told me personally, and I have pictures with him, and he tells me about the transformations that I can take, you know, have in my life, things that he's been able to do. He's transforming countries. You know, his team is going to Guatemala. They're oh doing gosh. things that are just amazing. And to be a part of that, to be Absolutely. a part of that. I mean, I'm feeling your energy right now and I'm thinking, I want to do this too. You know, I want to be a part of something that's, that's changing so many lives, that's even changing countries. I mean, that's incredible. But it wasn't always this empowered woman that we see right here, right? There's a lot of struggle that you, personal struggle absolutely and we have a lot of moms that watch the show and I'd love to hear about that just some encouragement for them would okay. you mind no not at all okay good and so it's hard to find a point in my life where I didn't have great support so I've always had good support but what happened is I stepped away from corporate America I had spent 15 years doing all the fun stuff I mean traveling the world having the cool corporate office oh, wow and I realized that there was more to life even though I was successful in that realm, I needed more. And, and I shared this with you earlier, the irony is, okay, I'm getting close to turning 40, and I was like, okay, I need to have children. I need, if that's for me, then that's something I need to pursue. Yeah. And I remember just finally getting to the point where I had struggled with infertility for many years, and just assumed that I wasn't ever gonna have children. And then realizing, wait, if I wanna have kids, then I gotta be strategic about it. Because anytime I had a project in corporate America, what do you do? Okay, let's put a strategy together. Let's figure out how to go after it and let's right. make it happen. Right. So, so then, you made it a little less emotional and more with your head and absolutely. Kind of planned it out. That's a that's a great idea. <laughs> well, no, but it's true because yeah. I, whatever I was doing wasn't working. Right. And then I said, okay, 
I either need to decide that I'm not going to have kids and be happy with it or decide that I'm going to have kids and do something about it. Right. And so what I did is put a strategy together. We saw some infertility specialists in D.C. and said, okay, we need to have children. And as ironic as that sounds, we just went to work and we used some unconventional methods. Uh Oh, I don't know know, if it's that kind of show. (laughs) Just Just when you take advantage of the technologies that exist. Because yes. we can sit here and talk about infertility and say, oh, I'm infer, but really, you, you got, sometimes you gotta be open-minded and sometimes you gotta try different things. And I say that now from a position because I'm now not only a birth mom, but then I'm also a foster mom. That's so incredible. it wasn't enough that I had my own birth son, but I said, hey, I want more. And so now I have a you know, daughter that you know, I will be able to adopt this year. So my strategic plan evolved to allow multiple children into my life. Wow. Oh, it's enlightening. I am so thrilled to be where I'm at today. That's an incredible story. I think, I think so many people need to hear that there's hope, and that and that. Okay, so you had you worked so hard to have one, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be done. Like you can keep going, and you can just keep just building this dream life if that if that's what you're called to do. If that's what you you know. Well, love. and it is for me. Uh, and some of you guys, especially in Winchester, know that I have a restaurant in town. Yes. But even after having that for three years, again, that wasn't enough. I needed more. And I got to a point where I, in order for me to be significant, I needed to help other people. And that's where the coaching and the training and the leadership development comes in. And, it, you know, today I had lunch with an individual and to watch them tell me how far they've come. And I started asking some questions and I said, OK, you know, in terms of your goals, if you had to say, were you at this awareness last year, you know, in terms of your financial, in terms of, you know, your business, she's like, no, but it's because of the personal transformation that she embraced and saying, hey, I need a little more. I need someone. Yeah. And even with you, you say it's been a month, but all of you, everything that you had, you already had within you. Oh, absolutely. So my gift came in in helping draw that out of you and say, okay, what are the things that you could be doing and for you, for me to like create this vision for you that you fell in love with and say, oh, that's me. <laughs> and I remember just all the aha moments that you've been having along the way. You're like, oh, and I, again, I'm not doing it. I'm simply drawing out the stuff that you've already had yeah. to help you be in this, you're this individual that today is just full of life. It's been, it's, it's been amazing. You know, we were talking about bamboo before the show and I don't really know all the statistics or not statistics, but all the, I'm not very well versed in bamboo growing, <laughs> but, but basically there's a lot of, a lot of growth that happens before you like bust through the ground and before people see, they see the sprout, they see the tree, all this personal development, all this, the hard work, the nights where you're crying, the nights where you're just devastated or the years even, you know, and it happens right then and then. What people see is this amazing transformation. Oh, yeah. And we see it with you. I mean, (sighs) your business in the last month has just grown exponentially. The way you're approaching the business, the way you're looking at your clients, how you're serving them. You told me you already have clients that you're starting to work with. How empowering is that? It's incredibly empowering to be able to, to just switch the mindset. It was switching the mindset and then realizing that I was, that I was, everything I wanted to be already. And mm-hmm. that was because of seriously like 30 minute conversation one day where she just pulled it all out and I was like, wow, <laughs> I can do this. I mean, when I left the hotel that day after the networking, the Sterling uh, networking meeting, I just felt on top of the world. And, and that is what a coach will do for you. So if you don't have one, get one. <laughs> Get her. (laughs) So tell me about what's happening next month that is so super duper exciting and I think kind of near and dear to your heart, right? It is. So for many years, I've invested in my own personal development and I've traveled the country Mm -hmm. and gone to some amazing events. And it was ironic because I'm sitting there going, okay, wait, I'm traveling to get fed and to learn and to grow, but there's nothing in my backyard. And instead of going, oh, I said, no, I'm going to create that in my backyard. You saw the need and you filled it. And so what we put together is an event called Encourage. And it's going to be February the 21st. And we'll have some stuff for you guys on um, so that you guys can have an opportunity to sign up for it. 
what it'll be is it'll a panel of speakers will come together and we'll talk about things like financial services, work-life balance, goals, health and nutrition, mm -hmm. getting past fear. You know, some of the core things that we as women struggle with, we're gonna address. And it's gonna be in an environment where it's safe, you're gonna build community, and people will come together and grow from that. Right. And come away and go, wow, again, everything that people need to be successful, they're already sourced with. Right. It's our job as leaders to just help people find that. And that's what our hope will be in creating this event. And I'm so committed. We're going to do this four times a year. We're going to bring it here and we're going to change people's lives. And not that people's lives need changing, but they need to feel encouraged and empowered to be able to look at their lives and feel accomplished with what they're doing, the stuff that they're doing every day, taking care of their kids, growing their businesses, being yes. a professional at work. Sometimes we get tired and we just need to know that, hey, what I'm going through is perfectly normal. Mm -hmm. And guess what? There's other people right alongside me that are gonna get me through it. I think that's I think that's huge. I think I am so excited to to be a part of that, to 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 attend, to be around other like minded women who are just ready to share their gift mm -hmm. with the world. Absolutely. And change lives. I, I'm just very excited. Guys, we'll put the link to sign up for that in the comments below. And you do have a Facebook page, right? I do, I do. It's Messner Leadership. And then there's also my personal page, Maricela Messner. And we'll link it here with Win Life TV because we've been partners with these guys with the restaurant for, you know, since the inception. And I'm really proud of the work that they're doing. So I'm just ecstatic to be able to bring this type of event for our area. Yeah, I'm very excited too. So make sure that you like Messner Leadership on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in today. Mm, I'm so excited to share you with the world. <laughs> thank you, doll. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to Win Life TV. Be sure to like us on Facebook. And if you want to get notified every time we go live, adjust your notifications in the little toggle area so you can get notified every time we post or go live. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Michelle Mathy. And I will talk to everyone on the next show. Take care. Yeah.